going to have to lose some of that hair. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Kevin won't lie. He's my best friend, but I can disconnect it. I won't let them get in my head anymore. I can't just unplug the cable box. I need to unscrew the connection. I'm not stupid. I need to unscrew the connection. I need a screwdriver. You just have to find it. You always lose. Loser. Lost. 4,000 satellites in space. No one knows about them. Listen. Listen. You don't listen. No, listen. Listen. You don't listen. Listen. Maybe they don't know. The FBI wants you to. We have a mother calling for help. She says her son is schizophrenic and currently off his meds. Hey, Diaz, can you cut the lights off? Yeah. Hello? Ma'am? What's going on? It's my okay. son, Kyle. Relax, relax. Okay, What's going um... On? He, he, Who sent you? Oh, well, hey, hey, it's Kyle. Why are you here? Listen, Why are you here? Kyle, my name is Officer Morgan, okay? This is my partner, Officer Diaz. Hey, hey, partner, he's got a screwdriver. He's got a screwdriver. No, Kyle, listen, listen, I want to talk to you, but I need you to put that screwdriver down, down first. Put it Kyle, put that screwdriver down. Just toss it to the side for me, okay? All right, I've, good, I've thank you. Source so I can disconnect Kyle, it. Kyle, hey, can, Kyle, can you come talk to me, please? Come, Kyle, come talk to me. Sir, we're good, thank you. Kyle, come, come talk to me. Yeah, there are, there are thousands of privately owned satellite companies, and if the citizens knew that the NSA and the tech companies we're stealing the information, they're recording it, they're beaming it up. Kyle, and I hear you. All right, Kyle, is, is it okay if we get you checked out tonight? Okay. All right, good. Mom, do you mind coming over yeah, real sure. quick? Yeah. All right, Kyle, listen, the important thing to remember is you're not in any trouble. You haven't done anything wrong, okay? We just want you to be safe. We want everyone and your mom to be safe. We're going to call the ambulance, just have you go to the hospital and get checked out, and we'll just take it from there. All right? Does that sound all right? Yeah. Okay. So, what do you think? Well, it's, I'm glad I'm the mayor, not a policeman. I mean, and really, because it's high, I mean, it's so intense that you, um, you don't know how you are gonna react. You know, maybe I've made a couple of the right choices of what to do, but it's only because of things that I've picked up on being the mayor. So I think that from a training standpoint, uh, that it's a, a great tool. That's why having mental health code response, having uh, mental health clinicians, working beside law enforcement, not only to go out with law enforcement, but to help train law enforcement so that they actually uh, understand those things that they're gonna encounter every day. And to make sure that that encounter does not escalate into something that none of us want. I can see where it would prepare you to be in a situation like that, that it would give you uh, a frame of reference of what you should do, you know, instead of just uh, reacting based on gut instinct. This training here is, is, is valuable, it's more valuable than you know, um, because I mean, several scenarios can be ran through. The biggest thing is training with other people, other agencies at the same time. That's, that's, that speaks volumes. Technology is helping us as police officers uh, make better decisions and you know more sound decisions than what we did uh, back then because policing has changed. I think it's important for this pers perspective to be had so that you understand that what that person is experiencing is real. But it's also for, you know, just personal education and continuously growing as law enforcement. This is one of the pillars of 21st century policing. I think, you know, the more innovative we can be and the more out front we can be as a city and other people are coming to us for assistance, uh, the better off we are as a city. And uh, so we want to be first, not last.